All right, I'm back in front of the tank and really quick updates. My nutrients are at um, right now uh, from this morning, it's 0.17 phosphate and eight nitrate. I mean, everything seems so healthy right now. The corals look like they're doing great. Except for all the micro bubbles in my display. What's up with the micro bubbles? I mean, this Dragon Soul is doing pretty good. I don't have any filter on the camera either right now, so, you know, that's the color that the camera picks up. This will be going into the third week of fluconazole. I'm starting to feel, I'm tempted to look at an algicide. An algicide like Vibrant or uh, Dino X from Fauna Marin because I just need to knock this back because I think the fluconazole has pretty much taken care of the, the bryopsis. What I'm left with is still the golden algae, which has not been impacted by, uh, the, um, by the fluconazole. Dude, what are you doing way out here? Seriously, your friend's like way over there. What, what are you doing right here? Yeah, that's, what's he? Trying to host my torch? At first glance, it looks like dinoflagellates. And it's, you know, and, and this is where you need to get a microscope. You need to take samples of as much as you can, like here on the rock work, um, down into the sand bed. Look at all the cell structures, take photos, and get that onto a forum, uh, a forum thread specific to identifying uh, the dinoflagellates. Uh, the T5s are on. Let's see, so what do I got? I got my two new T5s in there, or four new T5s just replaced. And I've got the, um, I just got G6 Blues and there's a Kessel just for some shimmer. And it's about, I don't know, a foot off the tank maybe 12 inches 10 12 inches I'm gonna have to figure out some strategy in order to really get into these rocks now they look significantly better than they did when I first started this process right they look so much better you can see my, my chocolate tang right here See, he's eating it. he's picking at it and I've seen all the herbivores do this behavior I have five tanks. Yeah, and they can't compete with this. What's up, bud? What are you up to, huh? Looking pretty good there. Yep, that's my old girl. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Swimming. Keep on. What? What are you doing back out here, dude? I'm happy with the progress so far. And we're just going to have to see where this goes in about, um, at the, by the end of this week. I'm definitely going to do another ICP as soon as the fluconazole treatment is done this week. I think I'll pick up another Fauna Marin uh, test because I want to see where the, where the water chemistry is at after the large 30% um, water change. If it addresses any of the trace element issues that I was having. Well, I say issues, but just the low trace element readings that I got from last week's Fauna Marin test. Right in front of the camera. What? Why are you scratching? It's weird. Now, tangs always scratch, right? They'll, they'll, every animal scratches a little bit, but it always freaks me out when they do it because I'm always like sensitive that I'm like, oh no, there's something in the water, but they scratch. And my powder blue, I think, may have gotten stung by my rabbit fish my fox face maybe I'm not sure what's up bud all right I don't think flow is an issue and this is the far end of the tank the two mp60s are on the other end the Nero 7 is on the other end the only flow I have on this side is just that one single mass spec uh, 330 gyre so it's 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 pretty good 
So I don't think flow is an issue. I mean, the Zoas seem happy too. I guess they everything looks like it's okay. Still have a lot of micro bubbles down here. And blowing it off doesn't do anything. Like I can blow off this entire area uh, with a. Uh, a turkey baster and just kind of get all the stuff into the water column and it goes into the overflow over there and it just comes right back the next day so I got the mp60 on this side a Nero 7 and I have the gyre over here I'm gonna add a second gyre on the top there and you can see right in the center where these two meet because I have the gyres on constant and this one is on reef crest and it just, you know, there's a lot of turbulence that's happening in this area. Because I wanted to put some uh, digitatas on this column here. I still want to make sure that the animals have, like, good hiding spaces. Because it's a peninsula tank, I want them to feel comfortable. And I've made a few, like, caves. Well, I, I made a lot of caves. I even specifically made one here out of a pipe and... Uh, kind of sculpted rocks around it and my purple tang uh, uses that area which is nice I think I'm gonna put some gorgonians along along here so that there is some privacy and maybe some light blockage from my front doors all right let's check down inside the sump I'm like the micro bubbles are just driving me crazy my auto top off, as it's below the sensor, has uh, has shut off. I gotta double check it because it should be turning on right now. My AT, uh, ATO reservoir is empty. Yep. Typically, it holds 15 gallons, and it does not have an optical sensor in there and it really needs one <laughs> I have to get one in there so that's what's causing all the bubbles and I just realized even my um, calc guy is bubbling I see a bubble and bubble and bubble and bubble and bubble all right so I got to take care of that so anyways uh, I'm gonna end the video here and I'll refill that real quick and yeah so anybody has any ideas help me out with the golden algae let me know and I will uh, respond to everybody's comments all right thank you